All right, what's up everybody? Sir Cedric here, just with a quick reason tutorial. This is actually my first that I've released on YouTube. Uh, today we're going to cover how to use Thor, the polysonic synthesizer in Reason, as a filter, uh, specifically as a switchable filter inside of a combinator patch. So beforehand here, I've set up a, a little combinator patch with a redrum and a Thor synthesizer inside of it. And I'll play the redrum real quick, and you can hear these are just some, some pretty basic sounds. <clears throat> These are from my friend 008's Vinyl Crates Refill. If you guys are interested in any of those sounds, you can check out his website. Um, and the Thor right now is set to just the initial patch. Open it up here. See we've got an oscillator, a low pass filter, a couple of envelopes with gate triggers on them. So what we want to do, and the main concept to understand in this, is we want to take the output of Redrum here and route it to the inputs in Thor and then the outputs in Thor to the inputs for the combinator patch and also make sure of course that your combinator is routed to your mixer. So now that we've got the outputs on the redrum going into Thor, we need for Thor's third filter which has stereo inputs to listen to redrum which is done through the Thor routing matrix here. So we say audio input 1 hundred percent into filter 3's left in. Filter 3 has a special section down there uh, because it has stereo inputs. The other two only have mono inputs. So then again, audio 2, 100% into filter 3's right in. So now filter 3 is listening to the input from the redrum. We can quickly instantiate a comb filter here. And we'll just start playing with some stuff. And you can see that not only is the filter picking up and filtering the drum signal, but we're also getting some of the, the noise from Thor because our oscillators and filters are still on. So what we do is go in and remove all of these. Bypass the filter, turn off the oscillator, and let's even turn off the gate triggers for good measure. So now all we've got is the comb filter affecting the drums. can be a lot of fun, we just have to figure out a way to manipulate that. Well, thank God for the Combinator's programmer. As I open up that patch and choose Thor, I can choose to assign button 1 to control filter 3's type. This affects the setting in the menu on the Thor directly. So we choose filter 3 type, minimum is button off, maximum is button on. So I want the minimum to bypass the Thor. So when the button is not on, the Thor filters are not doing anything to the signal. And we're going to change the filter type to 2 so that when I do switch the button on, we get a comb filter. There it is. Now the comb filter will retain the last settings that you put into it. So if I change the frequency and resonation to be really high, invert the filter and turn the KBD all the way up, and go in and turn off the button, plain, Turn it on, there it is filtered. Go back down, look, there's my settings. Awesome. Another thing that I can do is assign two different buttons to two different targets. So I want one button to instantiate a comb filter. Well, let's say I want a real lo-fi sound. I'm going to set the other button to instantiate a low-pass filter. Remember to turn the minimum to 4, which is bypass. And this time we're going to turn the maximum to 1, which is a low-pass filter. So now when I instantiate button 2, I go down here. Excuse me, button 2 seems to be a state variable filter. Uh, I'll leave 0 then, would be the low pass filter. We'll test that out. There we go. So now we have a low pass filter, and I can start playing with the settings. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. You can also assign the rotaries to filter frequencies so that you can adjust those via the controls on your favorite controller. There I have rotary 1 set to filter 1, or filter 3's type. Now I can control that via the, the knob on my pad control. Too much fun. Anyway, I'm going to do a few more videos. One on how to turn a subtractor synth into a both a, a stereo track and a Thor synthesized instrument. You can see a little preview of that down here. 
and I'm also going to do one on how to use all four of Thor's inputs and some really cool routings using dual stereo maelstroms. Uh, that's going to be a fun one too, so watch out for that. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot. If you guys have any questions, you can uh, message me here on YouTube or shoot me an email if you, uh, if you get to any of my other sites. Uh, thanks for watching.